of this week's episode of Day Reels Area 51. Action, drama, romance, suspense. Okay, probably not that much of any of it, but there will be comedy. We're hoping. Um, my monocle keeps switching sides? Pay no attention, the artist surely didn't. Anyway, enjoy, I'm out of here. I've always enjoyed these inspection tours of this solar system. However, the Area 51 on Venus is my least favorite place to go. Why is that, sir? All the other bases in the solar system, aside from Earth, are in inhospitable environments. What makes the one on Venus so much more worse to visit? It's the clones we have working there. They don't seem to respect me at all. Every time I'm there, I can tell they are making fun of me right behind my back. I can feel it. Would you prefer it, sir, if they made fun of you directly to your face? Would that be better? Uh, no. I would rather that they do neither. I want them to show me a little bit of respect. Okay, I think I got it. So, in terms of respect, how little? Okay, here is a simple tip. Always, and I mean always, have a fire extinguisher in your home in case of an emergency. Always have one ready. If, for some reason, one is not available and a fire breaks out, don't panic. There is still something that you can do. Call your local fire department, and while you wait, try using a garden hose. Don't have a garden hose? Or a fire extinguisher? How are you still alive, then? I really don't want to go down there. How about you go and make a report for me to read later? What do you think about that? Oh, of course, sir. I would be most happy to make that report for you. Now, wait just one minute. How do I know that you will make an honest report for me to read? Okay, well, why don't you go down with me, follow me around, and you can see for yourself, sir. Wait, I've had an excellent idea. I shall go down with you, follow you around, and see for myself. <laughs> ah, yeah. With a mind like yours, sir, I can't see why anyone would even think about possibly disrespecting you. Brilliant as usual. <laughs> Hello, General Borax here, Commander of Area 51 on Earth, ready to teach you how to become a championship boxer. Let's get to it, shall we? First things first, you must never let your guard down. Always keep those gloves up, ready in fighting position. Up like this, ready for action against your opponent. And second, protect your body and your face. Your opponent will do their best to cripple you with body blows and to disorientate you with punches to your face. Protect that face and that body. And finally, if you forget the first two rules, don't worry. As long as you pay the other fighter to lose, you will be just fine. Thank you for watching. Now... Go out there and get them. Welcome to Area 51 on Venus, sir. I do hope that your journey here was a smooth and pleasant one. We are all glad to have you here. It was, Mr. Whoever you are. So tell me, how is the base doing? I want a full report. I understand that the harsh environment of this planet can be very stressful to the operating systems here. How are you all holding up? Yeah, many of us prefer to work on the orbiting station. But being planetside does have its charm. The constant groaning and moaning and creaking of the structure as it's nearing collapse, 
ready to come down and kill us all, has had no ill effects on any of us. Thank you for asking, sir. <laughs> Outstanding. And I must say that I have found the clones here to be quite respectful. I am very relieved, Mr. The uh, Nameless Clone Guy. There, now you see, sir, you had absolutely nothing to worry about. This was a very pleasant trip, I would say. Yes. Now, please have the clones who were insulting me behind my back just a minute ago sent out into the crushing heat and pressure of the planet. Thank you very much. Eyes in the back of my head at all times. Oh, crap Balonia. We do hope you've enjoyed our show. Please comment below. Alien theories, stories, and whatnot. Like the video, subscribe, and become a Patreon member for one dollar a month. Perhaps win money or a prize if we obtain our goal. The artist will pay for it. <laughs>